everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am making these delicious chocolate spiders. Um, I'm in a little bit of a different location because I was taken out by a really bad migraine which meant that uh, I wasn't able to film my intro and outro on the same day. So I'm doing it a few days later where I have, I still have lots of these delicious spiders um, sitting around. Matt's on a keto diet so he's not eating them so I'm just savouring these. But this is what we're making today, these delicious chocolate peanut butter spiders. So let's get started. So to get started making our chocolate spiders, there's only three ingredients. We have our fried noodles, our chocolate, and our peanut butter. That's all we need. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start off by melting our chocolate and our peanut butter together. Uh, all I need to do is add my peanut butter uh, to my chocolate. And then we're just going to melt these together. I'm using a double boiler. You can use a microwave. Just when you're melting the chocolate in the microwave, do it at 30 second burst, give it a stir, put it back in. That way you won't uh, burn your chocolate. The other thing that you'll need to prepare yourself in advance is a parchment or baking paper lined uh, tray. Um, these aren't going to be baked, but we do want them to release easily. So that's why we're putting them on a piece of baking paper. Okay, so here we have our melted chocolate and peanut butter. I should have mentioned before, you can use any type of peanut butter, whether you like crunchy or smooth. I just had the smooth one on hand, so that's what I used. And then all we need to do is go and throw in our uh, fried noodles. So I'm just going to dump in my noodles like that and I'm just going to mix them through the chocolate and get them nice and coated. I should mention these are great for kids birthday parties. My mum never made these but I had a friend in primary school whose mum used to make them all the time and I remember whenever we went to her house or whenever we went to one of her birthday parties they were always there and I loved them so that's my memory of these. Uh, chocolate spiders from when I was a kid. They're also incredibly cheap to make. I think the noodles were about $1.50. Uh, there's peanut butter in there that you probably already have on hand. And then I think I got the chocolate on discount for about a dollar. So they're quite easy to make. Um, so once you've gone ahead and you've gotten all of these noodles nice and coated. Hopefully you can see that in there. We're gonna go ahead and use two spoons to put them onto our baking paper. And I've just got my um, mixture on a mat because, well, on a folded tea towel because I didn't wanna burn my bench top. Cool, so I have my two teaspoons here. We're just gonna dip into our mixture, get a heat tablespoon, and then just put them onto the baking paper. And I mean, you can make these as big or small as you like. I just make them tablespoon, teaspoon sized. Cause that seems to be the perfect one to two bites. Um, especially if you're serving these to little kids. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use, uh, portion all of these out. And once they're all done, I'll bring you back and show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished portioning out the chocolate spiders. All I'm gonna do now is allow them to go ahead and solidify and then they're ready to eat. It's as simple as that. Three easy ingredients that you probably already have in your cupboard apart from the fried noodles. That might be something that you have to buy but mostly we have chocolate and 
uh, peanut butter on hand so they're pretty quick and pretty easy these are great to taking along to kids birthday parties and they're really also quick and easy to make if you have to take something uh, where you know there's gonna be kids there or if you're getting prepared for a kids birthday party these come together really really easily and you can double it triple it batch pretty quickly I ended up getting 27 of these you usually get somewhere between 25 and 30 depending on how big you make them I'm just gonna go ahead and push these to the side and allow them to set and then I'll bring you back to show you what they look like uh, once they're ready to eat all right I'm gonna go ahead and bite into one of these because I love them like I was saying in the video I these remind me of my childhood um, when I used to go to uh, my friend's house on my friend's birthday parties so these are delicious So that's what they look like on the inside after you've taken a bite. They're crunchy, uh, they're peanut buttery, they're creamy and chocolatey. I absolutely love them. There's no reason that you couldn't make these with white chocolate or other flavoured chocolates if you wanted to. Um, yeah, they're so versatile, they're so easy. If you make them, let me know how you went down in the description. I hope you like this video, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you choose to make these. Give us a thumbs up. If you like the videos, if you like the frugal content, click on that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Bye.